What's going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny 2, and in this video I'm going to give you guys a review of the Silicon Neuroma Exclusive Nightfall Sniper, which is from the Pyramid from last week. You guys cannot get it now, unfortunately, but this is the Nightfall Exclusive Sniper, the Silicon Neuroma, and just like I do with every other Nightfall Exclusive drop, I try to compare it to other weapons in its category and see if it's any good. I know this is probably one of the top weapons that I've been trying to get because I think it looks really cool. And I think it is, in my opinion, probably one of the better PvP snipers in the game. I'm not sure. I haven't really used it. But just by, like, I guess by the looks and, like, the perks of it, it has snapshots. So I would assume it's pretty decent in PvP. I would compare this to the Whisper of the Worm and the Darcy. But I'm not going to in this video. I'm just going to compare it to other legendary snipers just because... Obviously, Whisper of the Worm and the Darcy Sniper Rifles are by far better options than this thing for PvE, for using them in PvE for like strikes, raids, etc. Definitely use a Whisper of the Worm because it is, I mean, Whisper of the Worm is like by far the best gun in the game at the moment. So I would just use that thing literally over any other heavy heavy weapon in the game right now. But if you guys a review of the Silicon Neuroma, going over the perks here, it's got aggressive frame, high damage and high recoil. It's got polygonal rifling, corkscrew rifling, and arrowhead break. I like to run corkscrew, corkscrew because if you have polygonal, which is like the default, um, you get an increase to handling and range. And you don't really need stability on a sniper rifle in my opinion, because especially in PvP, because you're not really aiming down your sights the entire time to get uh, kills. You're mostly doing that inside of PvE if you're doing a boss like Argos damage. You're going to be scoped in for a while and you'll obviously notice the recoil and this ability will obviously is affecting that. But I would like to run a course through rifling just because I think handling is a pretty, I think it's a pretty like important stat to have on a, a sniper rifle just because it sh uh, shows how fast you zoom in how fast you swap to the weapon stuff like that it just feels more like a lighter weapon in general so it's obviously as you can see i have a handling masterwork on my silicon roma in the middle slot you got accurized rounds which increases the range and decreases the stability and reload speed and flared magwell which obviously as you can see increases the stability and reload which is why i run that because obviously range it's it's good for snipers but once again it's like most of the time when you're aiming at something with a sniper, you're always going to hit it and really isn't that big of a deal. Especially in PvP, the range really isn't that big of a factor just because the maps aren't huge and you don't really need much range on a sniper to land a shot on someone. But for the last row, it's got snapshot sights, faster time to aim down sights, and opening shot, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of attack. You could run this, but once again, snapshot, like why would you not run snapshot just because like... It zooms in really, really fast. But with the weapon overall, I do have the Golden Trace shader on it. Because I think it looks pretty nice. This is what it looks like without the shader, if you guys are curious. And this is the lore tab, if you feel like reading that there. You can just pause the, pause the video and read it there for a second. But going over the weapon, like I said, I was comparing it to other weapons in its slot. I know I have this, this sniper on me at the moment. I was going to compare it to the Aikilo sniper. The Alone is the God, which is the Raid Sniper, and the Frigid Jackal, which is the Arctic and a Bray Sniper Rifle as well. I think these three are probably the top three legendary snipers in the game. I know there's also the Trial Sniper, which could be pretty good, but once again, I'd probably use the Silicon over that thing anyway, just because it's a Silicon Neuroma. And, but going over the perks here, like in the other videos I do, I usually show like pictures from the Destiny Item Manager website because they show uh, really good in-depth like stats of the snipers themselves. And what's really cool about this site, as you guys can see in the picture here, it has these stats that like aren't listed in the game, like uh, aim, assist, aim assist and recoil direction and zoom, which is pretty nice. And I'll be going over the perks or like the stats on those snipers compared to the Silicon Neuroma. So as you guys can see on the stats here, the Silicon Neuroma is a 72 RPM sniper. Well, as you can see, the Kilos and the Alone as a God are 140 RPM snipers, and the Frigid Jackal is a 90. So that means, obviously, the Silicon Neuroma is the slowest fire rate sniper out of these four here. And, I mean, that just shows, I mean, it, it is an aggressive frame, so it's high damage, high recoil. So you're obviously going to have more recoil on this thing just because it shoots slower. And... Obviously, the impact is going to be a lot higher. So, obviously, Silicon Roma wins in the impact and range slots, as you guys can see, by a long shot, just because it's an aggressive frame sniper. Going over the other perks, as you guys can obviously, it's an aggressive frame sniper, so the other perks or stats on the sniper aren't going to be the greatest. 
just because it's a slower sniper. So obviously the stability, handling, reload speed, aim assistance, and the recoil direction are slower than most of the other three snipers, I think in almost every category except recoil direction. Uh, that which is which beats like Kilos and Alone is a God, but not the Frigid Jackal. But obviously you can see the aim assist, the reload speed, handling, and stability are lower on the Silicon Naruma than any other sniper that I'm comparing it to. So obviously you could be like, this sniper's not good, why would you use this thing if the stats are so low? But once again, it's like I, I keep saying this because it's true because it's an aggressive frame sniper. It's a slower fire rate sniper. It's a high impact. So that means you could definitely two shot body with this thing and one shot headshot. Basically, any sniper in the game is a one shot headshot. And I don't know. I just think this thing is be definitely for PvP. I even though you could use this for PvP, if it's only three in a mag. But once again, like I said, with the Whisper of the Worm and the Darcy, you'd obviously use the Whisper of the Worm over this thing because you get basically unlimited ammo. And stuff like that but this thing is pretty nice looking i like the look of it the feel of it's nice it's quick snappy and it's a nightfall exclusive which is also is one of the reasons why i would use this thing just because of how rare it is not many people in the game have this as much as like i mean more people probably have like alone as a god than the silicon aroma or the aikilos sniper just because of how like rare more common you can get alone as a god because it's a raid drop not like a nightfall exclusive but like I said, how the stability, handling, reload speed, aim assist, recoil direction, all those stats are usually on the Silicon Roma's lower than the other snipers. It doesn't really mean the Silicon Roma is not the go-to sniper to run with in this game. Definitely, in my opinion, I was going to make an argument about the uh, stability, handling, reload speed, and all that stuff really isn't that big of a deal on snipers compared to like other weapons in the game, such as like the rockets or the hand cannons and stuff like that, like I did with the DFA and the Braytech Osprey, just because... Reload speed for snipers in PvP, you're really not you're only gonna be reloading like once or twice because you get six shots in total and for the silicon roma you have three in the magazine and then three like ready to shoot. Which means like you're only gonna reload a couple times. You'll most likely die before you get all the shots off. Depends how decent of a player you are. And I mean most people usually don't even use snipers in PvP because there's obviously you have the option of running a rocket, a shotgun, fusion rifle, all that other stuff that are way better than snipers in PvP. But like I said, like aim assistance is good even though it's only 47, which is probably like the worst stat for the Silicon Roma just because the aim assistance is super low on the Silicon Roma while obviously the Aquilos, Frigid Jackal, and the Alonis of God are all technically in the 70s. The Frigid Jackal is at 69, which is almost at 70. And obviously the Silicon Roma is all the way down at 47, which isn't, wasn't, isn't the greatest, but still, once again, like if you have good aim, you're most likely going to hit your shots. Which, so it isn't like that big of a deal. But since those stats are lower on the Silicon Roma than the other snipers that I'm comparing it to, doesn't mean it's a worse sniper in general. Obviously, everyone has their own preference when using a sniper, and obviously, someone could be using the Silicon Roma and think it's the best sniper in the game just because of how much they like the weapon itself and how well they do with it in the Crucible or even PvE if they want to use it in PvE. Even though I am using it in PvE in this video, I could show it in PvP, but really just showing off PvP highlights of the Silicon Roma would just me trying to hit headshots and people and double bodying people which I wouldn't really think would be a good like it could be a good example of showing showcasing the weapon but once again it's a sniper obviously basically any sniper in this game but one shot headshot if you're in the crucible but once again like I said this thing this thing is pretty rare it's a nightfall exclusive from the pyramidian and I don't think the pyramidian I don't it could return before the season ends um because the nightfalls are probably going to be getting a new Nightfall exclusives once the new season hits, so you probably won't be able to get this thing ever again if the, if the uh, Pyramidian does not return. So that's another thing, you could be using this thing just because of how rare it is. Same with the Aikilos Sniper, it's also very rare because it's Escalation Protocol Wave 7. It's pretty, I'd say it's a lot harder to get than the Alone is a God just because you have to do the raid for the Alone is a God. And I feel like that's not the hardest. Frigil Jackal is pretty easy as well, you just have to open uh, Sleeper Nodes and then hopefully you get a schematic and then turn that into Ana Bray and then get that that way but like i said just giving you my thoughts on the weapon itself i think it's going to be really fun i'm definitely going to be using it more than the other weapons that i'm comparing the other snipers i'm comparing it to just because it's a silicon roma it's a nightfall exclusive it's a rare weapon in the game and stuff like that so obviously even though the stats aren't as great as the others compared in this video i still think the silicon roma is the winner here even though you could use aikilos because like i said even like the stats it has snapshot while alone as a god also has snapshot uh, Frigid Jackal does have Quick Draw, which is also a bonus, and then the Aikilo Snipers. I would say Aikilo Sniper is more PvE, just because it has a box breathing and 
Triple tap, which are more for PvE, you really wouldn't use triple tap inside of PvP unless you really want to get those quad feeds, for example. But you know, it's not going to be that huge of a benefit to you for hitting a triple tap in the Crucible. Each sniper has its own benefits. I think the uh, the Silicon Neroma is probably the best bet here. Or the, I'd say it's either between the Silicon, Aquilos, or Frigid Jackal. I probably wouldn't use the Alone as a God unless you're doing the raid itself. I don't really use the sniper in the raid anyways. But uh, I definitely like the Frigid Jackal just because it feels nice. It has like a silencer on the sniper, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty cool. And then obviously that Aquilos is definitely a pretty good choice. I'd probably say, in my opinion, the best legendary sniper in the game is probably the Aquilos sniper. And then the Silicon Norma would definitely be in the top 3 for me for uh, in comparisons for the Legendary Snipers. But like I said, Whisper the Worm and Darcy are most likely going to be better options just because they're by far the best PvE snipers in the game for basically anything. You could use them in PvP, but I mean Darcy is probably better than Whisper in PvP. But once again, I'd probably use a Legendary Sniper if I'm using a, a Sniper in, in the Crucible just because you got the Graviton Lance, Fligilance Wing and stuff like that right now which are just super OP. But once again, I mean, this is my review of the weapon. This is what I think of it. I think it's a great weapon in general. Definitely has its pros and cons compared to the others. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of the Silicon Neroma. This is the Nightfall exclusive sniper from the Pyramidian Nightfall for killing Brachion. So if you guys enjoyed this video of this review and its comparison to the other snipers in its class, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below as well. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later uh, back inside Destiny 2. Peace.